What's going on guys? Welcome to the possibly unofficial episode one of the Post Slim Show. I'm your host, John Campbell. My thoughts on the Connor fight. I feel like I have more questions now about Connor than I did before we got to see that fight. What I mean by that is it's true we're seeing a new Connor, I think. I, we got to see 40 seconds. It's it's hard to um it's hard to to know anything at all, you know? If you take 40 seconds of any fight you've ever seen, you're really not gonna, not going to get the entire story. And if the fight in its entirety is 40 seconds, you're really not going to get the full story of who's back. You know, even like I don't know. It's just, it's not a lot of information. And that's almost concerning. You know, especially when you take a guy, you know, like Connor, and he comes back after a very, very shaky two years in and out of the cage. And you put him up against Cerrone. You say there's a new Connor. You say you're back. We get 40 seconds. I can't tell you much. Um, the only thing I really can tell you is this is not going to be 2014 Connor. This He's too big to be doing the stuff he was doing at 145. You're not going to see the capoeira kicks. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of that. You're not going to see a lot of wasted energy. And although I'm going to miss that Connor f forever now, um, you're going to see, it looks like that Diaz two, that, um, Eddie Alvarez, Connor, where he's going to sit in boxing range. Um, and I think he's going to just kind of, cause there's only so far a human being can take their cardio. So, you know, he's, he's going to almost minimalize his movements if you get what I'm saying. Um, with that being said, I'm going to totally contradict myself and say he looks like he has brought new tools to the table. Um, not including those shoulder strikes because, I mean, we saw those and I'm sure we'll see him again, but it's not going to work like that again. It's just, it's not going to happen. I don't think so anyway. I don't think you're going to be able to shock another human being doing that, seeing as how viral that five seconds was. Uh, but I think you're going to see him set up his left hand a little differently. And if the case is that his left hand isn't getting it done at 170, I think you might see a couple new tools. You'll see, you know, the head kick was huge, although it kind of landed with the foot. It almost, um, he didn't have the range 100% right. Although who am I to correct Conor McGregor? But I can tell you that shot is supposed to land with your, you know, he planned on landing it with his shin. The range was just, you know, harder to to figure out, I guess. Or, you know, Cerrone steps back and now it's with your foot. But, um, but I think we'll see, you know, a couple small things like that. Maybe we'll see a little bit more body kicks to kind of lower the hands. Um, if, in fact, the right hand, or the left hand, if I said right hand, uh, I messed up. But, um, yeah, we'll see the left hand. Chaz, cut this, bro. Um, all right, I know what I'm saying now. Um, if, in fact, at 170, his left hand doesn't do what it's been doing at 145 and 155, we might see a new tool or two. We might see a new setup or two. Uh, like I said, nothing's certain. You know, we got to see 40 seconds. You know, we could just keep hypothesizing on those 40 seconds up until the next Connor fight. But that's going to sum it up now. I just wanted to get my thoughts on this fight, get this video up, uh, you know, get the uh, the ball rolling. So this was unofficial episode one of the Post Slim Show here on Chazzy Productions channel. Thanks again, Chaz, for having me on the channel. Hopefully I'll make a ton more appearances. We can make this a thing. To everyone watching, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to his channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us know that it's worth, you know, worth the time that we're all putting into this. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace.